Part 1. Makeup Hey YouTube! So as you can see, I'm dressed in my normal tomboyish attire. Today I'm going to be attempting a much cutesier look. First, grab your sunscreen. As you all know, I'm a vampire and I apply this stuff religiously. Make sure to apply it all over your face and blend thoroughly. Next, grab your liquid foundation, which I had a little trouble opening. The struggle is real. Put a little bit on your fingertip and apply it sparingly over your face. Make sure not to apply too much or your face will look cakey. Then grab your powder foundation and use it to set your liquid foundation. Next, grab your contour compact and apply bronzer to your jawline and the hollows of your cheeks. Make sure to make a fishy face. Also apply bronzer to your temples. Next, grab your highlighter and apply it to your cupid's bow, your chin, the inner corner of your eyes, the arcs of your eyebrows, and the bridge of your nose. Next, grab your eyebrow pencil and use it to elongate your eyebrows. This will create a more feminine shape. Then grab your eyelid primer and use it to prime both eyelids. Next, grab a cream colored eyeshadow and apply it to your waterline. This will help enlarge in your eyes and create a dolly look. Next, grab a light pink eyeshadow and apply it to the outer corners of your eyelids. Then grab a darker pink eyeshadow and apply it to the inner corner of your eyelids. Use a brush to blend. This will create a ombre or a gradient look. Grab your black liquid liner and apply it to your upper lid. Make sure to allow the liner to dry, even if you look a little stupid in doing so. Repeat on the other eyelid. Next, grab your mascara and apply several coats to your eyelashes. Then grab your chapstick and use it on your lips. Last but not least, grab a pink lipstick and apply it on top of the chapstick. And there you go, your makeup is done. Part two, clothes and hair. The clothing for this look is a snap. Just make sure to grab clothes in cute colors and patterns. Now it's time for us to move on to hair. Hold on one second, I need to grab my wig. I must say I felt a little bit like a Viking warrior with this wig head on a stick. I may have gotten a little too into it. Now it's time to put this wig on your head. So grab a headband and use it to push your bangs away from your face. Next, grab your wig cap, which I had a little fun with, and use it to tuck away all of your hair. Next, grab your wig and try to get it onto your head. It takes a little bit of maneuvering, but I promise you, it gets easier the more times you do it. Spend a couple minutes adjusting the wig to make it look as natural as possible. Now it's time to accessorize. I accessorized with a small light pink bow. And our look is complete. You're done, yay! So as you guys can see, this look is very different from my normal look. I hope you enjoyed this entire transformation video, and I will see you later this week. Bye!